Okay, as you can see right here, we got some classic Franks, some hot dogs, and uh, some Kool-Aid. This is grape Kool-Aid, and some garlic salt. I've had a bunch of people recently tell me that I need to try catfishing with hot dogs. I'm not going to lie, I tried this maybe when I was a kid once, but not with the Kool-Aid, though I've seen several people do it since then. And I'm going to go ahead and give it a try. I'm going to go ahead and get this stuff cut up and get it mixed, get it starting to marinate, and uh, we'll try it sometime, hopefully later this week. All right, so this is just one package of hot dogs cut up, but I wanted to show you about the size of the pieces that I'm actually cutting them into. Uh, the problem with using hot dog, when I remember as a kid, is that they wanted to tear as I was putting them onto the hook so they wouldn't stay on very good. So I figure if I make them smaller pieces, I could just put multiples on and it wouldn't tear as easily. All right, so now we got both packages of the hot dogs cut up in there. And what we're gonna do is just add a little bit of garlic salt. You guys know garlic's pretty strong, so we're not gonna add a whole lot because I don't wanna overpower it. I'll just put a little bit in there. And that should be plenty. We'll get it mixed up with the Kool-Aid. All right, guys, now we're adding our Kool-Aid. I've got five packs total two packs of hot dogs we'll see if that's enough I think it will be plenty it looks like it's piling up pretty good in there you can see it's piled up pretty good and now we're just gonna mix it up okay and here's the finished product we're looking down in the bag at the hot dogs and the kool-aid you can see some look darker than others but that's just because the way the light is hitting some better than others. If I shift it around, some of they'd all end up looking lighter or darker. Um, but you can see the Kool-Aid and some of the garlic salt in there. And it mostly just smells like the grape Kool-Aid. And I'm going to leave it that way. So I don't want the garlic to overpower anything. And we'll let that cure for a couple days and then test it out and see how it does.